Limited company owners, I am really worried and I need your help. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And in this particular video, I wanted to recap on something. I did a video on probably a year or so ago now, and that's some changes that are coming to Companies House. And I think they're pretty scary for most small businesses out there, particularly if you're in the early stages of your journey. Although I think it does apply to anybody who's a small business, regardless of how long they've been going. And that's the fact that you may well have to, under current plans, you're going to have to, uh, put your profit and loss accounts online at Companies House. So at the minute what happens is you have to supply your full accounts to the revenue and they're behind closed doors, the revenue can look at them and do all that. But for Companies House, the public facing one that anybody can search, you tend to just put your balance sheet, which is kind of a statement of financial position of the company at a particular point, does give some, uh, for the learned eye anyway, gives some sort of feeling of whether the company's in a good state or not. But as always, there isn't that much detail there. And that's actually part of these uh, reforms and suggestions is they want to open up the transparency for anybody looking at the register at Companies House for small companies. But I think there is a lot of downsides to this. And that's what we're going to dig into in this video. Now, before I get into it, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the bell and the subscribe button below so you get notified whenever we release more videos just like this one. Now, at the end of the video, I have got an ask, and I very rarely ask for anything here, but in this case, I really need your opinion, that's all. I've got a very short survey that's in the comments, and it's about five to seven questions, most likely, by the time I've written it, and I just need you to click on it. That doesn't need any details from you, I just need your opinion on what you think about the changes we're gonna talk about here, and what you think the risks are to your business, because that data I want to be able to submit to the government and to Companies House. I've been talking about, and not fighting, but trying to get small business owner opinion heard on this for some time now and I've finally got to a place where I feel like I know the people that want this information and, and they've asked me for it and hopefully I can get some opinion from you guys and present that. So that's my one ask um, and even if you do nothing else after you've heard the, the news, please go to the comments and just click on that and share it with any other business colleagues you've got because my worry is that these changes are going to go on as they already have under the radar and before you'll know it your accountant's going to be turning around to you and saying oh yeah yeah we're doing this and you'll be like what, what, what do you mean? That's just crazy or, or something like that. So uh, let's talk about what those changes are. So currently you have to submit some accounts to Companies House. And as I said, that is your balance sheet normally. That's going to be just your statement of financial position at a given date with some details. And then what the changes are suggesting is where you're micro and small, which is almost everybody, probably everybody that's listening to these and watching these type of videos is. And that's at the moment that you're going to have to take the set that you due to the revenue that has your full profit and loss data. So that's your sales, your, your costs and your profit, all that data and put that publicly online. Now, what isn't clear is whether it'll have to be all the costs or what, that's still under discussion. They have to put some more legislation in for that. But this time frame could be within a couple of years at the moment. Uh, there's some unofficial things kicking around about how long, but if we just said a couple of years at the time of recording this video, that would probably be accurate. But a lot of uh, the things behind the scenes are gearing up towards these changes. And of course, if we don't say now and present other opinion about this now, it could be too late. And that's why I'm doing the video and why I'm asking for your help on this. So from my, my point of view, I've been talking to clients a lot about this and trying to get their feel for it and everybody else I speak to as a small business owner talking to them and the overriding feeling is wow that's going to cause me quite a few problems potentially and there's some risks involved with what's going on here so the, and I would say that the whole white paper that was done originally on this is all to do with battling crime and transparency and actually there's a lot of amazing changes in there so although this video is a bit doom and gloom on one particular change the bill as a whole I think is fantastic and there's some really good stuff in there we get involved a lot through our YouTube presence with people approaching us to form companies and there's a lot of cases where we just turn them flat down because they don't sound right to us or then they're not in an area that's uh, that we want to deal with and a lot of the time that's because of the risk that they pose and I think they, they pose a lot of risk to the UK economy as a whole so there's a lot of changes that would stop a lot of those things so that's really really good but we're talking about this one specific change to having to put your profit and loss data out there. So I want you to think about a couple of scenarios here if suddenly your data was available anybody a bit like Google like they can now in your company but it's very limited data go and have a look at how you're getting on but they can look now at turnover 
And a lot of people make wild assumptions based on these figures. I mean, in our job all day long, we have to explain what financial data is and what it means. And when someone's looking at a profit loss report, what that means. And even with us explaining it, it it's a long conversation, you know, it's a detailed conversation. We don't get taught this stuff at school. So how is anybody from the uneducated kind of financial world meant to read this data without actually making assumptions that are probably likely to be incorrect? So I wanna give you a couple of scenarios on this. Just think about a time you've got, I don't know, one, two employees say, and your employees with a cost of living crisis want to think about whether they should be having a pay rise. And you've said, look, I just can't do it for all the right reasons. I want to pay you loads of money, but I just can't at the moment. Bear with me, whatever the case may be in this example. They've then gone to company's house, seen that you've made a 50 grand profit in the year. And are like, oh, I could have easily afforded that extra two grand for me. No problem. Without knowing, it might be the only year you've made profit. They don't know that your dividends, which is effectively your pay, are coming out of that. They don't know that you've reinvested a load of it in equipment. They don't know that you are paying down debt. There's all these things that could happen, but somebody reading that data is just gonna probably look straight at that profit and loss report, because I think that's the bit that most people presume they understand the most, and that is a worry to most business owners that I've spoke about. And then, of course, that caused some angst, because they think you've made a load of money, you know you haven't, you have to sit down and explain it, and on and on and it goes. And of course, that is raised in transparency, arguably, but is it if they're just getting more confused by the data that's there we're just adding more layers of confusion to it i'll leave it up to you to give us your opinion in the survey that's one kind of scenario that you have that battle then you've got the same problem with your customers your customers can see your turnover they can see the margins that you're making they can see what money you're making on paper and they're going to be in the same position most likely uneducated not always but most likely uneducated around what that means and how to read that in combination with other factors or whether they're going to go back and look at the history of the company it might be the only year you ever made any profit all those kind of things and then your customers you might find then give you pushback these are the kind of risks that I'm really concerned about that then your yeah your customers say well look I can see you making loads of money surely you can give me a discount and you end up in this kind of discussion or the other way around you're a new business looking to deal with customers and customers choose not to use you because they can see because of the last set of filed accounts which could be very out of date could be 20 odd months out of date says that you only turned over only turned over 80 odd grand last year but maybe you've already done 350 this year, but the data's not on there. And they're like, oh, it's too risky. You're just a little li little startup. I don't want to deal with you. You've got that problem as well. So there's a lot of issues about timing and who's seen the data and when. If you might say a more established business and you're looking to tender with a particular big contract and you've put your tender in and they're looking then, they can see your margins, they can see your turnover, they can see how much of a percent of this uh, this contract would be worth to you. And I think that gives them some bargaining power that would not otherwise be there. So there's that concern as well. But it is mainly for the small, the small businesses. I just worry about all this data being available and people misreading it and then having conversations that we don't currently have. And I'm not sure that actually adds to transparency. So that's all there. There's all these, these differing things that are there. And I think that's what I want you to think about with this. And then have a look down at the survey and just give your opinion as to whether you think any of these things affect you. And also what might be the other effects? Is there anything else that I'm not talking about? We're just bouncing some stuff off each other here or bit one way, but hopefully you're thinking about it as we're talking. But if there's other things that you think are risk factors, please do put them in that survey. And then I think the other thing that's really relevant from my point of view as a business accountant is that at the minute, we don't talk about what, we talk about getting the figures right, making sure you only pay the right amount of tax, making sure we've got all the tax deductions and claims are allowed in legally and everything like that. What we're not talking about is what persona do we want to show to the public or anybody else? Because the balance sheet, you might make it, very rarely you might have a conversation about that in the small business world about, I don't know, depreciation policies or something or the position of the overall shareholders funds as it's known, like what's the overall position? But you never have to go to real detail. What worries me now is we'll be in a position where business owners will be really having to think about that and thinking, what is it that I want to show? Are you then getting pressured as an accountant into, oh, well, I need to show a good result or I can't be showing a bad result. And, and it's given a lot of angst between the two parties, you know, these kind of things. It's just a conversation that doesn't happen at the moment that I think will come back in much like public companies, I, I would suggest probably end up having is what's the result we want to show our shareholders. We might be in another position with small business owners where we're having that discussion and I'm not sure that helps anybody. So that's on top of all of that. So yeah, it just feels like it's adding problems. And in a world of social media, particularly, obviously as a lover of social media, I think it's really good thing for business. But again, if people can then, I don't know, you, you upset a, a customer and then the customer has gone and pulled your data and they're telling everybody that you, your business is awful and that you're going out of business and look at these figures or look these guys are criminals they charge so much money and uh, deliver nothing and again they don't know what they're reading 
th there's various versions of that. But again, it just adds a dimension that's not there right now, and I'm not sure that we need to. And I think it just is ever more impactful on a smaller business than it is on a large business. Different beasts and different people's livelihoods um, on on display here. So I think that's really important. I think there's also weird things you can do where your your team, if you've got a very small team, might well be able to see what another person in the organisation is earning based on where you've categorised it. I mean, a lot of these things we don't know to the level of detail that's going to be required yet. But ultimately, even just having the top two lines, the turnover and the profits, is a real concern for me. So my ask is, please do fill in below. You might disagree with me, and that's absolutely fine. It, um, I, I'm just relaying what I'm having with conversations with our clients and people in the community local to me and, and that I get online and talk to. So, But yeah, please do let me know, both in the comments, but also in that short survey below if you can. And I really look forward to hearing your opinion and just seeing if we're over worrying, or whether actually you feel it's a problem. And if it is a problem, I will be presenting this data to anybody that will listen. So please do share this video with anybody you think could support with their opinion. And I'll see you in the next one.